Hello, my name is Jay, and today we're going to talk about CPU cores for gaming. How many do you need, how many should you have, and how many should you want? To answer this, first off, we're going to need to explain a few things, starting with their core. In processors, cores allow you to process multiple tasks at once, but it doesn't stop here. Some processors have something called multi-threading, which allows a core to act like two. This means a four-core processor with multi-threading can outperform a processor with six cores that lacks multi-threading if they are running at the same speed. So, cores are important, but what about speed? Well, speed is even more important because modern games only use two to four cores, but the speed they run at determines your FPS. So now that we know what a core is, what happens when we don't have enough of them? Well, in gaming, it means lag, and a lot of it, to the point where some games are completely unplayable from the numerous spot lag spikes. And if your processor's speed isn't fast enough, you don't get enough FPS for it to be playable. Also, your operating system loves to use these cores as well. After all, your operating system runs your games, so make sure to save a few for Windows as well. So how do we find the sweet spot between speed, cores, and price? Well, to do this, I'm going to list a few price ranges and levels. For the lowest end, four cores without multi-threading will be enough for just the game you're trying to play and your operating system. If you want to open Chrome, play music, or watch YouTube on a second screen, you're going to need more. For this, you are going to need at least four, and have multi-threading on these four cores, which means you would really have eight logical processing cores. That's a, the buzz term we use. This is perfect and should allow should be pretty much in everyone's budget. Do you like to stream your games, maybe to Twitch or something along those lines? Well, something has to do all that work of encoding your game to Twitch or your favorite streaming site. This is why those extra cores are a bad are not a bad idea either especially when the latest processors from AMD and Intel have six cores with multi-threading, so 12 logical processing cores. These fit into the mid-range gamer's budget and leave plenty of room for new games that are more core hungry, not to mention the ones with more cores, uh, not to mention with more cores and processors tends to run faster, meaning more FPS in your games. So where should you stop? When processors get so many cores, they start to slow down speed. This means your FPS decrease and you can't get any more benefit from it. So the highest speed possible is usually somewhere along the lines of a reasonable number of cores as well. So that wraps it up for this question. If you have another, throw it down in the comments section below. And of course, like the video if it helped you in any way. And of course, there's a Discord server in the description with a bunch of tech experts to help you answer any computer questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.